Good night, welcome. Andre, what, what, what prime minister country? They were in there. The prime minister of Jamaica. I don't know where the prime. I know he's at um Jamaica House. You can find it on Hope Road and Devon Road. You want to go and find him? Go and book an appointment with him. I don't want no appointment. I want to tell him to give up the country because I can't manage. You know, giving up the country is not the problem. If I'm of the view that if you're in a capacity as a leader of the country and you see that you need help, do not be stubborn. My God, man. Do the spirit of... The people of Gregor Park are living in, in fear. fear. Can imagine the kids there, man. Do you imagine hearing 30, 40, 60, 70, 80 consecutive oh, shots every 10 minutes? How? How can criminals have that level of ammunition in our country? How did they get it? Who? Who? Who facilitated criminals having that level of dominance on communities? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm a country with blood of wood and How a criminal can burn down eight, eight residents? And you, and you, who is going to build it back? Jesus, God, no man. And Jay, continue to do your work here and take a next call. Hello, good night. Good night, Professor. How are you? I am listening to you and something come to my remembrance. David Sippins, they were trained for battle. David was just a shepherd boy. And when I view all that is happening and the position that you have taken, I am looking at David. David was a shepherd boy. You are a madman. But it was David who conquered Goliath. Mm. It was David who conquered Goliath for my fellow classmate. I'm introducing you to our nowadays, David. Mm. Andre, I salute you. Hmm. I respect you and appreciate you mm. for the time that you have taken from, from this country for us who do not have a voice. Take this time that enough of us would never take that the heads of government it will never take and some of us don't hold them accountable. Mm. I salute you, my brother. Blood covered in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth is yours. Thank you. Have a blessed night. I don't understand how can criminals put a nation, how can criminals put a community under siege and the, and, and the state can't respond to them. Horace Chang, good night. Horace Chang, good night. Horace Chang, good night. Are you going to continuously sleep whilst people in communities' houses are being burnt down? Horace Chang, good night. What is the response of the state to these criminals. Why you have so many soldiers, Horace Chang? In a back camp. Why you not put the soldiers over there? Good night. How many soldiers in a back camp? And you have a community being tarnished and burnt. Community living in fear. People are homeless tonight. People have to be living in other people's houses. Horace Chang. Hello. Hello, good night. Good night. Hi, Andre. It's very alarming that tourism is the main income earner in this country. And I'm hearing that a lot of persons say they're not coming down here. So, and I don't know why tourism the main income earner when the agriculture was the main income earner. But what I'm saying is that if tourism is the main income earner, what is going to happen to us down here to earn our money to, you know, etc. But I'm sorry for the person in Derby Park still, that's very sad. And, uh, and I'm glad you're taking a stand. And not to get off topic here, but can you have an exclusive interview with Matthew Radley, the SSL worker? We really want to know what happened 
I don't tell at the time when the video came out about those things. That we, did, we did interview Matthew Rodney from then, you know, but we will be having a follow-up with him soon. Okay, no problem. Thanks. All right. How can you have the state not responding to criminals? Hello, good night. Hi, Andre. Hi, Andre. Good night. Just want to say that it is so good that you brought out what is happening in Gregory Park and you call the names of the person who is allegedly causing the disruption. But one of the things that I would love to encourage. One of the things that you would love to encourage. He was about it last night with this is that when they are caught and they go into jail and when they are supposed people are supposed to go to give evidence so i i'm seeing that you are using your platform which is a good thing maybe we can try to find some ways of having these people protected a system set up for them Mm. them to go out to give witnesses talk about the communication we spoke about the communication from prison last night and now you see what is happening and these are some of the things that they are to put in place to orders being given out so while we're here praying and if we don't go out there and set the stuff if you can come up and know you have team come up with some strategies that we can use to have these people who are witnesses to the crime that they can speak without being fear but they must know that they are being protected and also protected when they give the police the information it's not circulated what and i'm you, going to say to you for that to happen you need to have a culture shift to have a